This is purely a lazy way to cook. So I had roast lamb over the weekend and this is the last bit of the leg of lamb. And these are a frozen vegetable mix. So I'm just using the pan and all the lamb fat that's in the pan and a knob of butter. So stir frying the frozen veg first to thaw them. This is all cooked. So I'll move that in. But this way, I get another meal. I had lamb sandwiches the first part of the week. And this is the last of the leg of lamb. That's the last bit sliced and diced. And then I'll move them all together, mix them all together. So it's all the lovely juices from when the lamb was leg of lamb was roasted and butter of course but this will be oh and the smell I tell you the smell is delicious I mean I could put it in a frying pan I'm gonna put the juices down into the but um, that dirties another dish so I may as well use the roasting pan to cook up the vegetables and then I'll mix that stuff in. And if you look here, the hot part of the ring is the middle part, or the middle two rings. There's three rings. The outside is the coolest, and the center two are the more hot. More hot. I've got such good English. So I've got the vegetables over the hot part on this side of the pan, and these are on the cool side. And then when those are cooked enough, I'll mix the two together. So that's one way to cook a convenient lunch for leftovers. Having frozen vegetables is great. Mixed frozen, ve frozen vegetables are great for soups and remainder meats and things like that. So I've mixed in the lamb with the vegetables. Now, I'm going to move it over. This is the simmer. So that's the hot plate. And this is the simmer plate. And this is I'm basically putting this in the round where this will simmer over where the hot plate strikes. You can hear the storm, the wind blowing through there, the chimney. So basically where the hot plate is sitting over the simmer rings. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'll be eating this soon. Yum, 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 yum.